Put the hot water on, which I have on. Okay, that's off. And the coal appears to be off already. Okay. Now, the first thing we want to do is grab our crescent wrench. Let's disconnect it here from the supply lines first. Okay. Find a bucket or something that you can put under there to catch the water as it comes out. So pull this one out. And you notice when I go to open this faucet here, the water is trapped in the line. All right, out. okay. So let's get that water out of here. Want to make a little as mess as we can. Now we get the cold side. Now remember, the cold is always on the right hand side. The hot is always on the left hand side. Got the water out of that. Now let's disconnect the uh, waste pipe. Now be real careful on these waste pipes. If they're kind of old and about to fall apart and corroding, uh, you might want to call a professional in to try to uh, replace that faucet then. Okay, but this one's in pretty good shape. And still have the bucket under there because with the P trap here, there's still some water in the trap. bowl is ready to be pulled away from the wall. Now watch your back. This can be very heavy. Now all you want to do is just lift straight up. See? See the hangers that hang on? Right here? Okay. Let me give you another view. Now we can easily work on the face bowl because we can get to everything. Now let's turn it on the side. First thing we want to do is reach back in here and we'll get these supply lines off. Okay. Okay. Now let's get our crescent wrench once again. Let's just get this little piece here out of the way. Get our crescent nut on the supply nut, turn it, okay, take that one off, the next one you can't see it but it's the same thing, pliers, get a good grip on it. Loosen that nut. See that nut turn? Okay. Good grip. Let's get that nut off of there. This nut is the mounting nut. This nut is the one that holds the faucet down to your sink. Nice and tight. And this nut has been on here for a while. I'm trying to get it to a point where I can start turning it with my hand. And it's always important to remember that if this is too hard to get off, once again, call a professional. Call someone that has the proper tools. Because in some cases, if this is too hard, it, it maybe have to be cut off with a special tool. Which I'm sure you probably don't keep around the house. Okay, now this one's pretty hard, but bear with me. Hey. See all that putty back there? See that putty right here? Right in here, that putty? 
we're going to put some more putty back on when we put the new faucet on. pull the faucet out of there but now we have this piece right here which is connected to the uh, pop-up okay this piece operates the little stopper in the middle of your sink okay we want to disconnect that so we can pull that straight up through there now all these are made very different none of them are just really alike at all they're basically the same but they still have a lot of differences and this is an old one okay and in order for this piece to go up through the hole this hole right here to come up when you pull it up let me show you see that hole right there we've got to take this bottom piece off because it just may not fit through that hole okay you see we have a screw here a nut so we'll pull that disconnect that nut take it loose with all the rust. Okay. Now this piece is ready to slide out. Okay, now we slide this piece out. Okay, okay that's out of there. Back up a little bit so you can see how easily I pull the faucet out of here. Okay. Now that we've taken off the nuts, we pulled off the uh, push rod, the end pull rod. Now the faucet should come loose. So we can just reach from this side where the faucet is. Let me show you the faucet here. See the faucet there? Okay. Now, we should be able to just wiggle that faucet loose. See? Back to this side. See? Wiggle it loose. It comes right out of there. Here's your faucet. Which is still a good faucet. But just for educational purpose, we're going to show you how to replace it. Okay, let's get this old faucet out of the way here. 